shouldn't be chewing gum. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Daily Motivation, 365 Days of Consistency. Doing the same things over and over again till they become habit. So, um, I kind of did this strategically. I started these lives on uh, November of 2019 because I knew there'd be some off days. Like yesterday was the off day, it was my birthday weekend. And Sunday, I just spent some time with my family, and so um, I didn't do a live there. I did a really quick one on uh, Saturday, and I did a quick one on Friday just because I knew uh, that birthday weekend was coming. But we're going to do two today. Uh, I have an announcement at 6 o'clock, so please, if you check out this video, check out the one I have on 7 o'clock, or 6 o'clock, I apologize, and put up your notifications. That way you can see the video once it's live and it's up and running. So again, if you catch this video later, please come to the original or uh, the beginning so you can catch all the information. All right, so today is Daily Motivation 194. So I want to actually go to 194 specifically. And if you catch this video, this means this angel message was specifically for you. So take it how you will. Uh, of course, if you hear this message, that means it was definitely for you. The angels have heard your prayers concerning your career and finding your divine mission in life. They are helping you by giving you guidance through your intuitions and dreams and in other sub subtle ways. Listen to and follow this guidance. Again, if you stumbled on this episode, that means this angel number and message was specifically for you. So I'll read it one more time so you can take it in. The angels have heard your prayers concerning your career and finding your divine mission in life. They are helping you by giving you guidance through your intuition and dreams and in other subtle ways. Listen to and follow this, follow this guidance. All right, yes, follow this guidance. So today I want to talk about change. Uh, we've reached the half point of the year. We're at the end of the second quarter, about to enter the third quarter of this game called 2020. <laughs> so many people's first half was not a great first half. It happens in sports, football, basketball, baseball. Sometimes you don't have a good half. But then the second half, you could come in and still win the game. So even if your first half was, hey, Melvin, how's it going? Even if the first half of the year, the first half of the game called 2020, hey, Sonia, how's it going? Wasn't the best. It does not mean that the second half cannot be, you can't recoup what you've lost and you can't still win the game. So always remember, I'm a big sports guy, I love sports analogies, so always remember that just because your first half wasn't the best doesn't mean you cannot still win the game. All right, so today I wanna to talk about change. How do we change, Rich? Okay, so my first half wasn't really great. How do I change for the second half? Great question. And the answer would be is number one, you have to plan for the change. Plan for the change. What do you mean plan for the change, Rich? Well, what I like to do is I like to set up dates. I like to set up uh, markers on my calendar of when I want something to happen. Now, thanks for the shout out. Of course, of course. And now it does not mean that what you want change will happen at the specific date, but it does something to your mind that makes you start the wheels to turn, start to move towards that direction when you could put a date. So for example, if you say by November 25th, I'll have a new job, you're more likely to have it by November 25th or December or January or February more than if you never had that plan in place. So what I like to do, I, had, I actually got a job that way where um, you know I was going around a few months unemployed and I could not find a good job. This happened several years ago. And what I did is I put on my calendar I will have a job on this date. Um, this is the type of job I want. This is the type of commute I want. And I just laid it all out there on paper and I closed the notebook and I released it. I just took a deep breath and I released it as if it was going to happen. That's number two, expect those changes to happen. And what happened was around that month, it wasn't the exact date, but maybe two weeks afterwards, I received, actually two weeks before, I received a, a letter even I didn't even apply for this job saying, hey, we want you to come in for an interview. 
It's something that happens to the universe. It's something that happens to your own mind, your own energy, when you write it down on a piece of paper. Yes, Sonia, it definitely works. And two, have the expectation. Act as if it was going to happen. I remember me and my wife, at the, well, she was my girlfriend at the time, we were living at this apartment that we hated, right? The landlord didn't take care of everything, anything. We started having black mold, and we just couldn't wait to get out of there. And so what we did was this. We planned that we were like, hey, by the end of this lease, we're gone. We're gone. We couldn't find a place yet, but we are like, you know what? We're not going past this date. So by the end of the year, we set a plan. On this date, we're moving out. And we started buying furniture. And I remember one of my family members came over and said, hey, oh, I see you got boxes of furniture. And he's like, yeah. He said, so you found the place yet? We're like, no. He's like, why would you buy the furniture before you have the place? Because we act as if what we call for in the universe will happen. And so we had the, all the, we had the couch, we had the, the covers, we had everything, everything. All the furniture I have in my place now was a place that we pre-purchased before we ever got the place, right? So this is how it works. First, you set up the date for the change. All right, on August 31st, this is going to happen. And then act as if everything you requested from the universe will happen. That's why we bought the furniture before we had the place. But once we had the furniture, we stumbled onto the perfect place. Put it out there to the universe, it works, just believe it. It's, and when you act as if, you're showing belief. They say faith without actions is dead. It's true. Faith with action activates something. I, I don't know. I can't explain the, the power force behind it. But when you act as if what you ask for will happen, that's truly applying faith. And when you truly apply faith, that's when things start to really work in your favor. So whatever the second half you want to happen... One, write down the date it will happen. It has to be a believable date. If you say, oh, things are going to change tomorrow, and you can't believe it, actually, it won't manifest. But if you say, hey, six months from now, four months from now, three months from now, this thing is going to happen for us, and then start acting as if it's going to happen, put in the works, put in the plan, put in the activity that it is going to happen, I promise you you'll start seeing some major changes, even when you don't get it. I remember when the first time I wanted my book to come out, my very first book, The East Side, it didn't happen until a year afterwards, but everything started setting in motion that made sure that it happened a year afterwards. So once you start plan planning for it and acting as if it's guaranteed, you start really getting that changes to happen in your life. That's when those changes start really start working. Share friends who like honorable and Cool. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, act on it. Yes. Faith Again, faith without actions is dead. Now, again, if you found this message later, please listen to the beginning of the video because I have a special message for you from the angels numbers of 194. But always remember, if you want anything to change, you are the center of the change. Things don't change outside of you. They change because of you. So when you start applying the change, you start activating your mindset. And your mind is a supercomputer. Once you set a date and say, okay, this is going to happen, and act as if it was guaranteed, the things happen way more likely than it would if you didn't have the plan and you didn't act as if it was completely guaranteed. Remember, faith without actions is dead. So again, this is Rich Fontaine. You can agree with me or not agree with me. Either way I feel, this was a successful conversation. And please check me out. I'm doing another video at 6 o'clock. Uh, yes, you are the change, 100%. Thank you, Sonia. But remember, I have a special announcement at 6 o'clock. This is a cool announcement that I found out uh, uh, Friday. So we're going to light this thing up. So if you are interested in this grand announcement, um, I have a special guest coming with me on episode 200. I can't wait to announce it. So episode 200, next Sunday at 9 a.m., we're going to have an awesome guest. So check out the announcement. I'll be putting that forth at 6 o'clock today. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. I love all of you, and I appreciate all of you. Love is love. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Sue, and everyone else that had a chance to watch this. Love is love. Appreciate all of you. Namaste.